Tonight, Miami-Dade police honor the 139 officers who have died in the line of duty since 1865. Hundreds attended a ceremony at a law enforcement officer's memorial monument. CBS 4's Donna Rapato joins us live from Tropical Park. Donna? Ruta Bay, this is the 35th annual ceremony honoring these fallen officers who died across Miami-Dade. There is the memorial back there. They're just turning things out. There's a, usually a flame that is lit where the names of the officers is etched. It's a beautiful memorial park out here honoring these officers. After 35 years, this still draws huge crowds and a lot of emotion. Hundreds of law enforcement officers come to this ceremony each year at Tropical Park honoring their fallen brothers and sisters of the badge. Symbolic traditions fill the memorial like the sound of bagpipes, flag presentation to loved ones, and the riderless horse. This year's guest speaker, newly appointed Miami-Dade Police Director Juan Perez. The reason we are here are for you, the family members, and for the names on that wall. We'll never forget those sacrifices. The day we stop wanting to be law enforcement, this community fails. Also speaking to the silent crowd, survivors like Rosemary Zor, who thinks of her father each day. Robert Zor was an officer with MDPD when he was shot and killed Christmas Eve 1983 when Rosemary was seven. My last memory of my father is when he left our family dinner on Christmas Eve to take a call. I remember him kissing me goodbye and telling me he would see me in the morning to open my gifts from Santa. That never happened. Meredith Thompson. They have died in the line of duty. A 21 gun salute, chopper flyover, sirens and lights everywhere punctuate the night before a final moment of silence. And again, 139 state, local, and federal officers killed across Miami Dade from 1865 to 2011. We're live in Tropical Park. Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News, tonight.